Given the large number of civilians in, uh, in Rafah, about 1.4 million, many of whom, as the Foreign Minister said, have been displaced from other parts of Gaza, uh, we have to see a clear and implementable plan, not only to get uh, civilians out of harm's way, but also to make sure that once out of harm's way, they're appropriately cared for with shelter, with food, with medicine, with clothing, and we've not yet seen such a plan. <laughs> Look, we are working every single day with the Israeli government on all of the challenges that the situation poses uh, to, uh, to Israel, uh, to Palestinians, to uh, other countries in the region. Um, and that's happening across our, our governments, and it's happening on a whole a variety of issues. Uh, yes, there has been a, uh, a counterproposal put forward by Hamas. I obviously can't get into the, the details of what that uh, involves, but what I can tell you is we're working uh, intensively with, uh, with Israel, with Qatar, with Egypt, to bridge the remaining gaps and to try to reach an agreement. And without doubt, uh, we know that the military offenses, offensive in Rafah, without a credible plan what to do to protect the civilians, would trigger a humanitarian disaster. We urgently need a humanitarian pause to get the hostages out of Gaza and more humanitarian aid into Gaza. And we shall never forget that among these over 130 hostages, there's one Austrian-Israeli family father who now for 161 days is in the hands of Hamas.